trying to capture a narrative that's, that's engaging, that retains the accuracy of the science, but has an artistic license to it that compels people to look at it and, and really be visually pleased, but also stimulated to try to figure out what this piece means. There's three billion positions along the genome in which things can go right, in which things can go wrong, and, and one of those places can, can literally change someone's life. It was very unfortunate that something as frequent, as common as hereditary breast and ovarian cancer should be analyzed and interpreted in a completely closed black box manner. But to me, is just not good medicine. I think when we first get diagnosed, we always get the feeling that we are alone, that nobody else has this mutation. And by looking at this mural, you realize that we're all interconnected. Internally, we have genes that they may work or they may not work, but they make us what we are. And now that we're going to free the data, we're going to be able to give the opportunity to people that we survivors might not have had on time. On this piece, maybe you can find them. There are these two long lines here and here. These are the proteins of BRCA1 and BRCA2. And so where your proteins, where your genome is different, is marked by the circles. I don't want other women to have to go through the suffering and the wondering that I grew up with and that my sister grew up with and that she died and took to her grave. It is my information and I want it to be shared. I owe that to my sister and her memory. I was diagnosed with breast cancer when nursing my second daughter. She was three months old. And I'm freeing the data because I want better answers. I don't want removing body parts to be the only option to prevent breast and ovarian cancer. And I certainly don't want that for my children. My data need to be free to help others. It should not be in the hands of one company. If you can use my data to help a race of people or help people in general, then it needs to be free. I'm freeing my data so that in the future, women won't have to decide between motherhood and life. So that men can have some clarity about their own protocols, their own treatment plans. Because I know how high the stakes are. There are different risks for different mutations, and I want that information to be available. We do have part of the puzzle, but unless we get the rest of the puzzle together, we won't have a complete answer. How many more people are going to have breast and ovarian cancer? How many more Latinos? How many more? Caucasian, African-American, Asian, anybody, you know, we're never going to find the answer if we don't free the data.